Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to model loads in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we are going to be showing the process for modeling uniform distributed member loads. The first step in our process is to select the members for which you want to assign loads to. At times, it may be helpful to reorient your model to make the selection process easier. For this exercise, I'm going to switch to a top view. Then I'm going to select all of the infill beams at this lower roof level. To select multiple entities at one time, I'm going to hold down my control key and then select the members I'm interested in. Now I can return to an isometric view if I wish. Now at this point, I'm ready to assign loads to these members. Whenever you select members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you're going to see the member tab is now available in the ribbon toolbar, which contains all of the tools that you would need to assign properties, specifications, or loads to members within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. Here I'm going to take a look at the loading area. Now for this exercise, I'm focusing on modeling a uniformly distributed member load. So I'm going to select the distributed load option in the ribbon toolbar. Then I'm going to enter the load case for which I'm interested in. And for this particular model, I'm going to be assigning this as a dead load. Next, I'm going to enter the type of load. We can enter a variety of different types of distributed member loads with different types of geometry. For this particular video, we're going to be focusing on uniform distributed member loads. Then we can enter the direction of the load. We will go in the global Y direction. And then we can enter the magnitude of load. I'm going to enter mine as negative 0.02 kips per foot. And then we will click OK. Now we should be able to see those uniformly distributed member loads are now visible in the view window. If you would like to see that information through the spreadsheets, you can select the spreadsheet tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the distributed loads option. And here you should be able to see your distributed member loads. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.